Welcome back to my channel. I'm starting a new vlog for you guys. Today's vlog is kind of a getting my life together, really resetting for the week and just prepping for the week. We got back from vacation. Last night we had a 12 hour drive back from Florida and so there is just a lot to get done. We have laundry, we have grocery shopping, we have meal prepping, cleaning the apartment and getting everything ready. Fun outing we're gonna do with cash today. So I will share that. I'm trying to make this intro pretty short because we're actually headed to church. We're trying out a new church today. We've been trying to find a church here in the Dallas area for a little bit. So we're headed to a new one today. We just got back from church. We're now gonna take cash for a walk, which normally we don't do in the mid afternoon now that it's hotter, but it's actually a pretty cool day. It's like 80 degrees and not too sunny. So we're gonna go take him for a walk. And then after that we'll run some errands and I'll kind of walk through what we're doing to kind of get things together for the day. grocery list to run to Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna go through a few of my cookbooks. This one is to find dish and find some recipes to make this week, as well as go through our fridge and see what we need, what we don't need to do some grocery shopping. So we just got back from PetSmart. I wanted to first to show you guys a little PetSmart haul because we got this guy some new things. And again, I do not pose him here. He just likes sitting on my lap. He's very cuddly. I always try to bring cash with me because I think it's good for him to get used to having a lot of different smells and being around other dogs there. And it's just like a good kind of training experience. So I'll have all the products that we got linked down below so you guys can easily shop them if you wish. The first thing we got is actually really exciting. It's a new dog bed. So before he just had a mat and it was honestly not that comfortable, but we got this one from Top Pod. It's actually an orthopedic bed. So it's really good for their joints it's very supportive they have a ton of different styles from top paw where you can get like more neutral ones i like this one because it's very neutral it just blends in with the apartment you guys know i like to keep our apartment pretty simple another thing i got for summer are these pet head quick fix paw and body wipes so with him we obviously do give him baths it's really important but with golden retrievers coats you don't want to give them too many baths to where it just isn't really good for their fur and so i like these because you can use these as again just a quick fix this is something i'm really excited about i have really wanted a rope leash for a while we've had this camo one that we got really quickly he thinks it's a toy and so i really like this one i think it's so beautiful we got him a new collar too and so i wanted one that was going to match it but this is also from top paw they have a ton of different ones if you like some that are more colorful and the last thing is another kong classic i love these i get a lot of questions about good toys for puppies and one of my favorite things to keep him occupied when we were trying to crate train him is a kong toy you can just fill it with peanut butter that's safe for dogs we've done plain yogurt and you can freeze it or you can even put their food in here and make it kind of wet and also freeze it and it'll keep them entertained for a really long time and feeding him kong treats in his crate really helped him associate his crate with positive things and i just love these and that is everything that we got so i'll have those things linked down below i wanted to include that in this video because he just needed a refresh of some new items So the first thing I got, I have always wanted to try this. It's the watermelon jerky. I actually ate this in the car and it was kind of strange, but not bad. Got some salad, this coffee creamer, tomato basil hummus, which is our favorite, yellow onions. I'm making three new recipes this week. And so I got some different things, Greek yogurt, some more produce. It's actually July 4th when I'm recording this, but our friends are grilling on our roof. So I wanted to bring us some drinks. We don't really like drink at home. So I had to pick up a few things, but got an assortment of beers. I don't really know a lot about beers, but I got the ones that I know Aiden likes. The thick and chunky salsa, which is also our favorite. Mozzarella for a recipe. Avocados. 
I also got some really pretty flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some vases. Restaurant style tortilla chips, which I think are the best. Some more snacks, a cucumber for salad, some pita crackers. Still going, like I said. This is a big one. Unsalted pretzel nuggets, which I think are also the best. Some bananas, as well as some mangoes for a recipe, basil for a recipe, the best. ABC bars, which I actually have been seeing because they hadn't had these for quite a bit of time. Chopsticks, of course. Raspberries for yogurt. Some pineapple chunks. I think that this wine country chicken salad is the absolute best, so I like to put this on toast or on salad. We got some chicken breasts as well as some ground turkey. These dark chocolate sunflower butter cups. I've never had them in this package. I've just gotten them individually, so this will be good to try. Got some beef jerky, some mango slices, and then just some cheddar cracker slices. Tomato basil marinara for a recipe. Dark chocolate lovers. I love these. These are the best dark chocolate bars as well as some cheese sticks because I was eating these on vacation and they just really taste good. Lastly, we just have a couple of culpers. I like to mix these in with iced coffee to make it a bit stronger. And then just one kombucha. This is the Pink Lady Apple Healthy Kombucha. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff up because there is so much stuff on my counter. We're about to go see some friends on our rooftop. I think we're just gonna swim and they're grilling out a little bit. So we're gonna go up there. I'm probably not gonna vlog just because it's our neighbors that we're hanging out with and I just wanna be present. I feel like we haven't seen them in a while. So we're gonna go do that and then do a lot of tidying and getting things in order when we get back. So we just got back from hanging with our friends, which is so fun. We were up there a little bit later than I thought though. It's like seven o'clock now. So I'm just now starting to kind of get things together. Aiden's gonna start unpacking as well. As you can see, his stuff is back there, but we need to put some new sheets on the bed. We also need to unpack, do some laundry, vacuum and mop, and I also wanna wipe down some surfaces. So that's what I need to do. I also need to finish part of a podcast too tonight. So I'm gonna do that as well. So it's kind of like a busy night. We're gonna tag team though and do this together. Put on some comfy clothes so I'm feeling nice and cozy, but let's get this house in order. <laughs> first workout in probably a week and a half so it's probably gonna be a little rusty but i'm really looking forward to it i feel like i just haven't moved my body and the way i usually do in so long so i'm really excited i think i'm just gonna do a run probably three miles and then maybe an ab workout or a leg workout i kind of want to do a leg workout because i feel like it's also been a while i've done that and then a 30 minute upper body workout. So very intense workout, but a great way to start the week. Just finished getting ready i will share a little rundown of today so today aiden actually has off but he's gonna go golf with my dad so i'm gonna be here most of the day by myself but essentially i would love to go over there i think my family's doing a cookout but 
I think a lot of times I think I should be doing something because I really want to see my family I really want to hang out but I know I'm gonna be pretty stressed if I don't get caught up on work stuff so especially after being on vacation it's just important for me to have a productive Monday so today I need to edit a video do all the promo for it upload it get it all set up I also want to map out a podcast to record this week as well as a video so I'm gonna do those two things I also am wanting to do a video on like an apartment refresh because we are gonna be in this apartment for another year like I said and I think a lot of times it's easy to feel really just like uninspired when you've been in the same space for a while and so I want to think of just like small little things to kind of refresh the apartment. I saw my friend Renee Amberg do this with her apartment and it was just really inspiring to watch and I was like that would be nice so nothing like crazy expensive just small little tweaks. I kind of want to get some inspiration for that and just map that out. Another fun thing Aiden actually got us training with cash for my birthday. This is something I've been wanting to do and obviously you guys see we do train him but there are just some things that I think we could be better at learning how to do like having a better recall with him so he just listens to us more when we're out in public and he's like at a dog park off his leash or something be able to have better communication with him and so we're gonna do training at this one place we have a consultation at the end of july and i thought it would be more so just fun for the two of us to do as like a bonding thing with him so that'll be fun but i need to set that up and look through that i've talked about this before but with him we watched a lot of zach george's videos here on youtube which i think are really helpful and that is kind of the method of training we've done but i just always thought it would be fun to do training in person also my dress i'm wearing is from zara it's just this nude dress i think it's really cute i love just simple dresses in the summertime because it is hot here in texas i was also watching my friend allison bickerstaff's videos and i just love her videos she just puts me in such a good mood when i watch her videos I'm sure you guys know of her but if you ever need a new youtuber to watch she's just so cute very inspiring i just love watching people who are really uplifting and really motivate you and especially because i'm trying to kind of get back on it after being off for a little bit it's nice to watch people like her so I just made myself some lunch. I just toasted a piece of bread and put some of the wine country chicken salad on it, as well as some honey crisp apples. So very simple. I just finished all my work for the day. It's like 5.30. I really was expecting to vlog more, but everything just took a while. It's 5.30. I'm gonna go take Cash down to the dog park to hopefully play with some dogs if they're down there. And then I'm gonna watch my show for a little bit. I've been watching Suits which is so good. I really like it, but it's one of those shows I really have to pay attention to. I can't just watch it in the background. And so I either fall asleep at night or I'm just watching it when I'm distracted. So I'm gonna sit down for an hour and watch Suits and then cook some dinner. I imagine Aiden's gonna be getting home a little bit later tonight. So I'll make us some dinner, one of the meals that I got stuff for, which is nice because I haven't like cooked a meal in so long. <laughs> This is tonight's recipe. I'm making this grain-free chicken no parmesan. It looks so good. I'm just gonna do it with a salad. And it's from Define Dish. This is one of my favorite cookbooks. It's just very like wholesome food. And so I'm just gonna start making this. I just posted a video, Cash is crawling on my desk. I also did some reading in my new Bible that I showed you guys in my Florida vlog. Aiden got me this wide margin Bible and I just started reading it and I love the feeling of cracking open a new Bible so I was so excited. What are you doing? Hey, you can't come on my desk. I'm about to go get a workout in though. It is 9 a.m. I'm gonna do a strength workout this morning or a HIIT workout actually. See when I get down there what I feel like doing. For today's plans, I need to map out a video. I'm doing a video about refreshing our apartment like I talked about. I didn't get to do that yesterday, so I'm gonna map that out. I spent the morning also getting on TikTok, which is something I haven't really done before. I watch people's TikToks, but I don't actually 
post on TikTok, but I'm thinking of starting to post more. So if you want to follow me, my username is just at Michelle Reed YT. And so I'm excited to start that. I don't know anything about TikTok, so this will be fun. I'm also going to stop by the PO box after my workout and see if there's anything in there for me to unbox because I haven't checked that for a while. Just another work day. I'm excited because Aiden's here with me today. I love when he's working from home because it's just nice having him here. <laughs> box so i'm gonna do a p.o box unboxing we have a few cards and then also a few packages and start with these cards this one is so cute there's little golden retrievers on it my p.o box is always in the description box of my videos if you ever want to send anything you definitely don't have to i love just reading letters and some of you guys have small businesses that you'll send packages from and it just means so much to me so this one's a birthday card this is so sweet thank you so much this is from kayla this is from julie thank you so much thank you so much michaela this is another birthday card from kiernan which is also so sweet thank you so much we're gonna open these packages now i believe this one is for cash so we'll see what's in here we have another dog toy as you can see he has his toy toys everywhere all over the apartment so this will be good to add to the collection what's that bud you want it look go play with it thank you so much to whoever sent that oh wait it doesn't say who this is from but thank you so much she is now off chewing it so these are some candles from little light candle co she gave you guys a discount code it's michelle 20 and that'll get you 20 percent off if you guys want to order some candles so it's so cool because i think they're made in texas too this one's white tea it smells so good and this one's seaside which will be really great because we just got back from the beach oh that one smells so good i'm definitely gonna burn this one after i'm done but thank you so much and these are 100 soy wax candles which is great they're clean and non-toxic this is from black sage fine art she also gave a discount code you can get 10 percent off with the code michelle 10. she has a lot of different prints from photos that i have posted before which is so cute these are so nice they're on like really thick cardstock which is so sweet i'll have to find a place for some of these in our apartment this is from get it custom the little crew neck thank you so much this looks so comfortable too so cute i will have all these businesses linked down below if you guys are interested in shopping them two things one i never mentioned that my romper is from airy if you're wondering where this is from i recently got it i think it's really cute two i just finished work for the day at six o'clock i just did a lot of planning planned a podcast and a video which i'm gonna work on for the rest of the week but i'm about to make some dinner and then we're gonna take cash for a nice long walk i'm making another recipe from my defined dish cookbook i'm gonna make a turkey taco skillet something really simple i've been loving kind of doing the whole 30 recipes this is the one that i'm making so after i cooked dinner and we went for our walk i never properly ended this vlog so i just wanted to say something that was on my heart i think that a lot of these things like cooking putting together a home doing work throughout the day seem like really mundane tasks but they really are the small moments that make up life that i'm so grateful for i love this morgan harper nichols quote it's just one of my favorites because i just always try to remember to be grateful for even the small things that may not be like big trips or fancy outings but just the small moments that really make life a lot more special so i just wanted to share that with you guys if you were in a similar place just to always be thankful for those small things mm -hmm. 